All right, guys, we are about to tweeze this week, and I'm also going to do an application on my niece. She wants like a little high ponytail, but this right here is a Swiss lace. It's really, really full, and I'm about to tweeze it. I'm about to go ahead and start my um, streaming for my other um, socials. I'm going to adjust my adjust my camera because we're just really going to be focused on the tweezing i think that it is to me it's harder to tweeze on the uh swiss lace because i don't know what it is but it just seemed like the hairs on the swiss lace is sometimes it can be a little harder to tweeze out which is good because that means that i really personally feel like when you have a Swiss lace, which is thicker, I feel like the hairs are not easy to come out. And that's a good thing. What's up, y'all? What's up? We about to tweeze. I'm about to put this on. I'm about to make some adjustments with the camera. So bear with me. Just give me like two seconds. I'm going to make some adjustments so we can get up on this actual unit that I'm about to tweeze so y'all can see good. What's up? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. How y'all doing? We're about to tweeze this, but I want to make sure I'm in a good position for y'all. I had to do my little intro. And my niece, she left me. She had to go to the store, so. But I need to get started on this, so I'm by myself real quick. How y'all doing? What's up, Cynthia? I see you color bright. All right, so I just want to get this in a good position where y'all can see. Me, we just go focusing on tweeze, and this is not an HD unit, it's a Swiss lace. Trying to make my little adjustments real quick. Which one of your students made this one? Okay, so a lot of times my students uh either they'll send me wigs and I color them myself. So this one right here is from Flamboyant. I colored it myself. I like to do my own coloring, but like if you guys like to do your own coloring, you can look at my uh, YouTube and I teach you like some coloring tricks. This one right here was the color from the CBS. Um, I know a lot of times you guys can't purchase some of the stuff that I really like to use. So I try to switch it up for people who are professional and people who are non-professional. That way y'all have options. What's up, Kay? We're about to tweeze, y'all. Hold on one second. I'm trying to adjust because I want to make sure y'all can see me. I haven't changed, like, how I tweeze. All my tweezing is basically the same. Like, I haven't changed anything. But I will say that I personally feel like when you tweeze on a Swiss lace, I feel like it's harder to tweeze. I don't know if that's me. So in that case, I like to use like some mousse, but I always keep my water bottle with me too. Show videos of the lace closure. Yes, I, I actually uh, go to my customization videos and I'll do more of them because sometimes, I don't know, there's nothing wrong with just doing the same thing over and over. I be trying not to gatekeep, but sometimes I'm going to tell y'all, sometimes like with being that I'm a professional, sometimes that is a hard area for me because I feel like you can give too much information and it can really confuse people, especially if they don't understand like the professional side of hair. So I try my best to make sure that y'all can understand what I'm saying. And I try to find stuff that everybody can use or purchase. I've been trying to work hard with that. It's just hard because now that, you know, when you, once you get your cosmetology license, you're able to use like very concentrated products. And when I compare a concentrated product to a non-professional product, it's so hard. Like, but I try to make it work for y'all or for people who, you know, don't necessarily have a license because I didn't always have a license. I had to work with whatever I had until I could, you know, get the professional products. Okay, my arm, I burned my arm. I burned my arm really bad. It's healing. It's healing. So, okay, so let me get my other socials up and we're going to tweeze and talk about this Swiss lace that I'm working with. I 
I burn my arms so bad. So bad. I hope my skin, I hope I don't have to get no grafting or nothing. Like I be doing too much, y'all. Burned it bad. But it's okay. It'll heal. It'll heal. I'm still alive. It will heal. Okay, so I'm getting my other socials up on here so we can get started with tweezing. And then I'm going to just go back. I did a little intro because I know everybody wasn't on here right away. So now we are about to tweeze this. Is every, Can you guys see pretty good? YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, can y'all see really good? Is that a good, is the lighting good? Let me know. What do y'all think? Y'all can see good? Okay. And I'm basically, basically like when I do this, y'all, you know, I'm a, I'm an instructor. So when I talk to you guys, I'm probably, it's probably going to sound like a class and that's okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. Oh, I don't have my, every time I sit out, I never, I'm never ready. Let me grab my comb, y'all. Hold on. All right. I got it. 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 Okay, so this is a wig unit that I colored. If you want to learn how to do some of the rootage that I do, you can go to my YouTube and click my playlist, my coloring playlist, and you will see some of the different uh, options that I give you guys on coloring. Um, some of it's going to be non-professional. Some of it will be professional. You just pick and choose what you want to do. We're about to uh, tweeze this unit. This is a Swiss lace unit, guys. I find that tweezing on a Swiss lace unit, sometimes for me, I feel like the hairs are harder to come out. So I like to use mousse. I, I'll use mousse on the HD lace, but you got to be careful because the hairs, to me, they slide out so much easier when you use a mousse. So you can opt to use water. Um, you know I'm going to use my favorite tweezers. My little ladies, they're like a dollar at Sally's. So make sure y'all try to pick these up if y'all can find them. Um, also, if you notice here, I have my straight pins. I rarely, um, if I have a new unit, I rarely use these. But if I'm tweezing a, a old unit where the lace has already been cut, I want to tell you guys, use these smaller um, pins if you got to get close to the lace. Because you'll end up tearing your lace if you use these bigger ones. These uh, T-pins, they're, they're kind of big, so they'll tear the lace. So I got them kind of like at the end. We're just going to go through this tweezing. Uh, if you're on um, TikTok, guys, I can't see. I don't have a moderator right now, so I can't see your questions that well. So if you just want to watch and follow along, I can see on Facebook um twitter and youtube i can see your questions i can't see your questions on tiktok right now okay i'm so sorry so this hair is pretty i i think that this is pretty thick i don't know if you guys think it's pretty thick i think it's pretty thick uh some people would look at this and say hey it's not that bad i'll put it on but i like for mine to look as natural as possible uh, a lot of times, if you watch my YouTube videos, I tell you guys to part off a line of demarcation. To me, I don't even feel like this has a line of demarcation. Not really. So in that case, you can make one. You can part it and just create one. I don't really feel like it has. And when I say line of demarcation, guys, that's where the hair fades. It's a little thinner. It's less density. And it's a little thinner right here. I don't. I feel like this is just thick all the way around. Now, if you're a first-timer tweezer, I suggest that you part it. This will leave you room for error. That's totally up to you. You don't have to do it. We're going to do it both ways. But I am tweezing this because I have to put this on my knee. She got a show tomorrow that she has to do. So I'm trying to help her get ready for her show. Ugh. And I can't really see the questions on TikTok, but I can see you guys on, on YouTube. Okay, so when you part that line of demarcation, I always suggest that you guys tweeze behind this line. Do not put these tweezers in this line and you want to tweeze in sections if it's your first time. But as you guys start to tweeze, you will, I guess I could zoom in on TikTok. Yeah. 
I'll zoom in on TikTok, but y'all, I can't see on I can't see y'all questions on TikTok. So if you guys just want to watch, that's fine. But I can't see, and I'm apologize. I can't see what y'all saying. I don't have a moderator this morning because I just decided to just jump on here last minute. All right, so I'm gonna tweeze the sessions. I'll talk as I go, and I'll try my best to not stop while I'm talking because I have a tendency to do that. All right, so what you want to do, first timers, you want to tweeze in sections. That way you can focus on one section at a time and you don't have to worry about if you miss the area. I like to tweeze at an angle. I feel like it looks better and I feel like that is how the hair flow naturally flow on a human head. If you're using mousse, just note that it will make the hair slide out of the knot easier. So if you're if you think that you kind of like heavy handed, you may want to just use water. I'll make sure I save this on uh, my YouTube too, guys. So if you just jumping on here, you'll be able to go back and watch it. What I always tell people is you want to count. You can either count if it's your first time. That way you don't hit the same place twice. And make sure you move around with it. Go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Comb that hair out and move to your next section. I'm really like particular sticular at how you know i do things especially when it comes to hair most artists are and even if you're not an artist if you just have a systematic way of doing things you'll always get the same result every time so i think that's important and some people they'll say oh that's just too much you know maybe some things are just not for you and that's okay but if you have the time and the patience you can achieve the same thing that a, a professional can if you come up with a systematic way of doing things. I don't have a moderator TikTok, so I can't see anything. I can only see on um I can only see on YouTube. And then I'll just read some questions from there. If I get a moderator in here, I kind of just jumped on here. I didn't even think about none of that. I just jumped on here. I was like, hey, I'm about to put my niece wig on. Maybe they want to see me tweeze real quick. I don't know. If you think it's not thin enough, then go back and do it again. But I'm only focusing on the sides. I do the sides. I don't I don't like to jump everywhere. I just focus on the sides. Then I go to the uh, middle. And some people have a... Um, like, don't get hung up on how much hair, like, to take out. You want to make it look as natural as possible. I always tell people, hey, maybe you have to, like, tweeze a little bit, then go and get in the mirror, and then, like, try it on the side of your face to see if you tweezed enough. But that is always subjective. Like, people will say, well, you didn't tweeze enough, or you tweeze too much. That's totally up to you. Like, you don't have to tweeze what somebody else do. Like, I can show you a method. And you can determine like how much hair you want to come out. Like nobody can tell you what's too much and what's not enough. Tell them, don't be trying to look girl you niece. Don't be, don't look girl my niece. She can take out however much she want. If she wanted thick around the edges and if she want to look like planted eggs, she can. Don't do my niece. But it's totally up to you. <laughs> it's about having a method. Were you able to film the install? Which install? And I think I missed something important ahead of yours, too. Somebody was talking about they left the uh, developer on. It didn't change anything. Okay, yeah, y'all go back and watch some of my videos because I know a lot of people are saying, hey, I put the developer on to pre-soften or I did this or I did that, and it did not bleach the uh, unit according to some of the different little um, techniques I'm giving you guys. Please make sure you guys are listening to those videos because I am letting you know that some of these vendors, guys, they are using henna. So sometimes the hair is going to be hard to bleach. The more you bleach it, no matter what they did to it, the more you have to bleach it, the more danger you put those uh, knots in and it will shed. Yeah, let me pin this. I'm sorry. Yeah, thank you, um, Perez. See if I can pin that. Can I pin that? Because I can't see over here on TikTok. I can only see on. It won't let me pin your comment. 
because everybody gonna think I'm ignoring them. I don't like ignoring my babies. Anyway, so I can't see on TikTok, guys. I can only see um on YouTube right now. This hair was super thick. You all, you saw I, if you just jumping in here, it was so thick. And I, it's just my preference not to. Um, I just don't like my hairline too thick. Okay, so it said it could be because I you I didn't use thirty. You can okay. So if when I first made that video about I don't know if y'all uh, how long y'all been following me the people that's listening right now, but I had made a video about pre softening. That's something that we learned in cosmetology school, and I told you guys to use a twenty volume, right? But I was not thinking about the fact that my vendor. Uh, that hair lifts so easy. It lifts with a 20 volume. Like you don't always have to use a 30. But if you think about it, like what I've been trying to tell y'all, these vendors, they had his hair is soaking in henna. So it's going to make the hair hard to lift. When I gave those instructions, sometimes I, I forget uh, to make sure that I'm clear on the fact that you got to remember if you're getting it from a vendor and they're doing that, you may not know that, but I know that after I do the test on it or I try to bleach it for the first time. But I'm trying to make you aware that they do that so that you're not thinking, oh, I did the technique and it didn't work. Or I used this and it didn't work. But it's not working, honey, because they are um, they are using henna to color all the hair one color. This is some thick. This was a thick piece. Now, you can either party like that. I'm not going to party the whole time. I'm going to go ahead and speed this up. Okay, so I parted like that. If you missed it, if you just jumping in, I'll say this on YouTube. So I parted it to um, ensure that I didn't make a mistake. And as you can see, it's still thick. Now, if you are not a professional, it's best to party. If you missed that information I gave earlier, you can go back and watch it on my YouTube. But now we're going to speed this up. If you are more familiar with tweezing, you don't have to party. You can actually visualize it and just comb this hair at an angle and then tweeze it from there. But I always like to part a lot of demarcation, especially for those people who are new to tweezing, so that if they make a mistake, if they tweeze a hole in here or they tweeze, pluck out too much, they got hair here to take it back and cover it. But since I'm a little more familiar with tweezing, and some people here may be, I'm just going to go in here and tweeze. Make sure you don't, to ensure you don't hit the same part each time, just go along and count. One, two, three, four, five, whatever. Comb it out. Then you go to the next area. I feel like the hair looks better when you um, tweeze it at an angle. That's totally up to you. When people on this app give instruction or they give technique please keep in mind that you don't always have to do it exactly how they say or exactly how i'm saying it's not law we just giving you some tips or ideas they be under the comments they be like auntie i ain't doing it i ain't doing all that you ain't got to niece relax don't do it 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 don't stress yourself out but just try different things. When y'all see people giving like different advice, just try. If you don't like it, move on. But just try stuff because you got to open your, um, y'all need to open your mind and open your, your um, open yourself up to new possibilities of different things that could be done. Like, don't be so closed minded. Try it. If it worked for you, then, hey, you good. I haven't changed my tweeze and techniques, but I did want to tell, you know, come on here, jump on here since I had to tweeze this anyway. I do feel like tweezing a, um, a Swiss lace is a little like the hairs don't come out as easy. So I prefer to use always use the, um, the mousse because I find that when I'm tweezing on the Swiss lace, sometimes I'll tear the lace or I'll turn it around and I have a lot of holes in it. But when I do the mousse on it, I don't. So be careful if y'all doing the uh, HD because the hairs on HD come out a lot easier to me. And then this hasn't been bleached. Y'all only colored the root. So that's going to make it harder for the hairs to come out too. When you bleach the, um, which you don't have to bleach knots on a 613. But when, I'm, when I bleach the knots on a Swiss lace on darker hair, it's a lot easier to come out then. If y'all understand that. Yes, this live will be saved.
if I'm missing your questions on TikTok, I can't see on TikTok, guys, because the way I got this camera, I can only see on Facebook, on, uh, yeah, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Okay, so I think that look, that's looking okay. I don't know, my aunt, my, my not my aunt, my uh, niece went to the store, and I'm about to put this on her. When she get back, I better try it on her and show y'all what I mean, because sometimes people be like, hey, I don't know how much to tweeze. Thank you, babe. I don't know how much to tweeze. So sometimes you want to tweeze a little bit, lay it on the side of your face, even though you're not going to be the one putting it on, lay it on the side of your face. That way you can see if you tweezed enough. So I'm going to let this, sit. I'm going I'm to go ahead and go to the other side. Let's look at the other side so y'all can see the difference. So I think that look okay. I don't really know. I can't really see that well. I'm a little blind. I can't see. So this is the side that has not been tweeze okay and this is the side that is tweeze it look a little more natural i feel like it's some more i probably need to do over there but i'm gonna wait i'm gonna go ahead and work over here because when she get back i want to go ahead and get her ball cap on because i believe i gotta get her out of here all right so i'm gonna go ahead and i always do this last guys because i feel like you will I, we don't want to tweeze a lot right here because if we tweeze too much right here it's going to look, it's just not going to look good. So I focus on that last. Am I plucking the front hairline? Yes, but I'll pluck, I'll pluck the middle last. I always pluck the middle last. YouTube videos that will help you take the color off your lace. Okay, yeah. So if you get color on your lace, thank you for that. If you get color on your lace, try color oops. I think I did. I did a, a couple videos on the color oops. So just try that. All right. So if you just jump it on here, guys, I'm not gonna part this off. You can go back and watch this when I save it on uh YouTube. Let's make sure y'all can see good. You can watch it on YouTube where I part it off. Try not to hit the same place twice. And like, don't sit here in one spot and just tweeze in one spot. You're going to tweeze a hole. So move around with it. That's all. You can watch my, uh, I have some slow motion videos on YouTube with the tweezing. You can go check those out. But I try to tweeze in sections. And keep it wet. This is Swiss lace. I feel like Swiss lace is harder to tweeze on, especially if it hasn't been bleached. It's not necessary for me to bleach a 613, so I wouldn't it wouldn't be bleached anyway. And we are gonna do this application on my niece. She has a show tomorrow, so I gotta get her out of here. And we'll go, we'll jump back on live. I just need to get her situated. We'll jump back on live and put it on in just a little bit. I'm waiting on her to get back from the store. I think this is easy. I think anytime you're doing something that you've never done before, I always suggest that you get like a um get like a cheap frontal or something and play around with it. Don't like don't run out there and grab like the best hair and be like, you know what, I'm about to look good for this weekend. I saw Auntie tweezing. She made it look so easy. I'm about to get my $700 wig and I'm about to tweeze her down. She about to be fly. I'm about to look good. And you never did it before. Like, don't do that, niece. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. I want you to get practice first. Like, I, I would never do that. Anytime that I learn, I never learned something new for the first time and nailed it. I ain't never did that. Not, not it to my standards. I ain't never did that. Anything that I've ever learned the first time, I always practice it. And then I, once I get it how I want it, then I'm like, yes, let's get this going. But I never go into anything. Anything, I never really go into anything in life with a whole lot of expectations. I think that's where everybody gets heartbroken when they doing something they never done before.
And if you notice, I'm kind of like holding it at a slant, like, and then like going in there, closing those tweezers. What y'all can do, y'all can practice on the front. You can practice on the front. That way you will know whether or not you pull in the uh, actual lace. So sometimes you sit there for a minute, relax, sit there for a minute and practice on the front. That'll teach you how to get your rhythm down without tearing the lace. Okay. Same thing when y'all using the glue and using too much glue. She said y'all using too much glue. Y'all do it is too much. You can practice on your hand first. You can practice on your hand and you'll get it down packed that way. So every time when we face our customers, that's why I had them practice on their hand. Then I let them put it on their face. But practice makes perfect. So practice first. It's up to you how much hair you want to take out. That's totally up to you. Nobody can tell you what's too much and what's not enough. That is subjective and that is an option and that is to your taste. But having a rhythm, having a, um, you know, a system and how you do something is super important. That way you can always get the same results every time. I think that's important. Well, for me, because I, I don't like to guess and I don't like to just make stuff up as I go. So I like to have like a system on how I do things. I guess I'm more particular than I thought. So here, like if y'all start, like, you know what else you can do? I always tell my students, I always tell my students to use their camera. Right now, I can kind of like glance into the... Um, the uh, video right now and I can see like where I'm too heavy and and a lot of times your naked eye won't catch everything but your um your camera will so I'm just going in here putting these darts in here to break it up so it don't look so perfect across the front and and when you do it like this I feel like this helps too like people who don't want to wear baby hair if you put a little extra um time into this hairline like this, this way, a person that don't want to wear um, baby hair, they'll be able to with no problem because it, they, you've created a, and customized that hairline so that they're able to. Because if you don't, you know, taking the baby hair and covering it, nobody will ever know that, you know, you didn't put a little extra uh, in. It. You know what I'm saying? All right. So I feel like I'm OK. I don't know yet until she get here. I'm going to lay it on her head. I feel like I'm OK. And I'm gonna tell you what I'm gonna do next. Before I get to the middle, let's look at let's look at it and see how we looking on both sides. Cause I'm not sure, so we'll look at it. Look at both sides. But I feel like I'm going to do, I'll do some more on her. And that's another thing, uh, guys, like if you a hairstylist and you having the customers to drop their units off before their appointment, what you can do is like sometimes, like when I did here, I would just do a little bit. That way, you know, it's less work and I could kind of like mimic their hairline if that's what they were wanting. Some people just want a new hairline. They don't care. But if I knew I had to mimic their hairline, I would just do a little bit and then I would, um, do the rest like on them but i think this is good i'm okay we'll see when she get here but i'm okay with i'm okay with this now we need to do the middle but this is the one thing i want y'all to keep in mind some most 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 people most people not everybody and this is just for a basic i'm talking about general population i'm not talking about everybody everybody Hairline is not the same. But if you notice, like if you tweeze it on a, a canvas block, they have these lines right here. It's three lines on this canvas block. I use these two so that I can pinpoint where I am. And most times these two lines right here on the side of the middle one is where that temple area is. Most people, not everybody, most people are thin here. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and thin that area out. I'll take it back some and I'll thin that out. Not everybody's like that, but that's totally up to you. Like, you don't have to do that. Okay. Uh, 
Malika, or is that uh, unique? Gibbs, is it clear now? Let me know on YouTube because that's where I'm saving this to. I, I need that to be clear. All right. Like I said, the mousse helps it come out easier. No bleach was used on this uh, unit. So bleach actually makes the hair come out so much easier. But in this case, it's not necessary to bleach a 613 wig. So the mousse really helps it come out as you tweeze. So I'm going to focus right here in this area right here because I do want this to be thinner. I'm trying to get to a position, making sure y'all can see. And I'm going to tweeze it. If you missed the beginning part of this video, a lot of times I'll part off where that line of demarcation is. If you missed that, for beginners that's trying to tweeze, you'll be able to watch it on YouTube. I kind of like give you a tip on that or watch my customization videos. Now this right here, I this right here, I tweeze at an angle. Here, I don't mind you going back, but here, if I tweeze here, I tweeze at an angle just a little bit, okay? But here, right here, I don't mind it's going straight back, or it can go at an angle. It's not a big deal. It's just right here. I really like that at an angle. This is what I like to do. It's not like mandatory. It's not biblical. Just some little tips on how I get my unit the way I like it. I come back in here. I make this a little thinner. And it, it'll kind of have like a little dip down right there. It's not like a, a, a widow's peak or whatever, but kind of going in that direction. But kind, maybe I am a little, I, I, I never thought I was until I started teaching how of a stickler I am. Maybe I didn't think I was real picky, but I guess I am. I don't know. But I like to use my, uh, y'all can use y'all camera like how I'm doing here and I can see what's going on and where I'm going, the direction that I'm going, because I know that I want this to be a little thinner. Most people here grow like that. So you can mimic it. I didn't realize, like, a lot of times, like, if you learn how to, um, what is it? If you learn how to ventilate, you won't have to worry about doing all of this tweezing because you could just put the hairs where you want them to be. A lot of times, a lot of my students, they go and learn ventilating and they'll take an existing wig or existing frontal and they'll tweeze in front of the, uh, on this extra lace, exactly how they want it to be. And that's an option. You know, life is about options. That's all this is. Like some people be like, girl, I ain't doing all that to put on a wig. You don't have to, mommy. You don't have to. Just do what you do, whatever make you happy. You don't got to do that at all. Here she come. Here come my baby. Okay, let's get this a little rounder. So I'll just take that out. You got it? You know what else I forgot to tell you to get some? Um, but you can just take that ice. I want you to take that ice and kind of like cool yourself down too. I got a, bottle, a water bottle in there. It's icy. Okay. I actually just bought, you know, them little facial things that you put in the freezer. Oh, you was thinking the same thing I was thinking. We are. Mm -mm. No, I'm talking about that's at home. Oh. I didn't get that. Just <laughs> I was like, oh, my God, we synchronized. But I was thinking about uh, what ice helped, too. So yep, yeah, I got one in there already. All you got to do is put it on your face. Put that um, preparation H under there, under them eyes, and put that ice on there. And just relax until I'm ready. I'm almost ready for you. Okay, so I might just leave that alone right there. I don't know. I'm going to leave it alone and go to the other side. Oh, good job, Gina. Yeah, I just want y'all to try different stuff. So you tried the nair trick. Just try different stuff. Even when I was telling you guys about the unread, because people were like, what if I can't find the unread? Like some of this stuff, guys, I'm just trying to give y'all like some different little tips. If you can't find it, skip it and just rely on the um rely on the the toner. Y'all be careful with that 50. 
uh if you can get a hold of that uh shazy q9 ena that's gonna knock it out and you don't have to worry about going it going too fast it's, it's gonna go a little slower but those are just different things that i personally found that my eye likes see how straight y'all see how straight that is right there we don't want that we don't want to just slap that on somebody here we got to break all of that up I don't want to put that on nobody's head like that or on ourselves. Seem like I've been up in here or something, but I know I ain't been over here. It's a little thinner than the other side. They're not always created equal, y'all. This stuff is man made. It's not always created equal. Let me see if I turn this way. Maybe I can see good. I feel like I was couldn't see. It just takes time. I have not even been. Uh, people will be coming on. On maybe you're not just interested. You probably not interested in here because something. If you're interested in something, it don't matter how long it take you to do it. You gonna do it. That's just all it is. If you're not interested in something, because I get off these live, they be like, "Oh my god, that's so much." I get off the live. I've only been on the live for fifty eight minutes. I'm like, child, and I talked and ran my mouth the whole time. Just if I wasn't even talking, we would have been done. So a lot of times it's just what you're interested in. Like if you're not interested in something, it can seem like a whole drag, I promise. Because baby, I don't want to do no math. Okay, so I feel like we okay. You see what's going on here? We're going to have to do something with that, okay? But if I wanted to go up in here, which I think I am, I feel like let's move this back some. Let's go ahead and McDonald. Let's, let's Ronald McDonald this. It ain't doing it enough for me. So let's take this out. You can be as particular with this as you want. You see what I'm saying? Like, let's go in here and make this, like, it don't have to be perfect, but I don't, I definitely don't want it to be obvious. Let's take that back. Uh, let's go in here too. Like, you see, I like, I like that imperfection right there. You see what I'm saying? I like that. All that's up to you. Y'all don't even got to do all this. I'll be doing too much sometimes. But then when I put it on, baby, and they pull up on me at the Target, baby, they get close. They be like, I know you from somewhere, but they really be trying to get close. They be trying to get close. They be like, uh-uh, let me see. Uh-uh. I be like, look, 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 come on, knees. You can't clock me. Because I didn't with the extra mile. Okay, we're going to get here in just a second. I want to put a few little imperfections. They don't have to be exactly the same. That's totally up to you. Now, right here, I never really like the tweeze a lot, but I do want to blend this part right here, okay? We not, I don't like to do too much right here because this is the first place a person eyeball go when they look at you. So I'm just going to go in here and kind of like even it out. I'm going to even it out. Like I said, they don't make it perfect because that's what's going to make it noticeable. It ain't got to be perfect, but this right here is not going to fly. So let's go in here and try to balance it out. I'm not trying to make it perfect. I'm trying to just balance it out. Okay, let me not look up there. I can't see that good. I'm not really trying to tweeze. I think I'm just trying to balance that out. Actually, on this style that we doing, you getting baby hair? Or we it's just going, it's gonna be a slick back, right? Pardon me? Yeah. I think we have um like two little spots of baby hair, but yeah, slick back for the most part. Okay. Yeah, so that right there, like being that we're going to slip this totally back on her, I wouldn't want this to be too perfect anyway because nobody hairline just sit like that because it'll be just looking too perfect. And a lot of times just pulling one or two hairs is going to put you in the game and balance it out. You 
can be as finicky about this as you want. You can say, you know what? I don't want to do too much. And that's fine. You don't have to. But I do want to break this up. I still feel like I can hit a couple hairs in there. Not much. If I just wanted to find something wrong with it. Like, y'all ain't got to do all this. I'm just extra. That's up to you. I'm going I'm to stop, I think. Are you coming to Louisiana for class? Louisiana? I don't know. We got to wait. Uh, look like them COVID numbers going up, child. They didn't put out a new virus. I don't know. I'm ready to start back traveling. But we got some stuff coming up. Y'all just stay connected. I'm going to have to do something. We just be up in there with masks on or something. I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to stop right here. The tweezers that I use, I use the lady scissors. Yep, you can get the unread online too. Just try different stuff to see what how to make... How to make it work because that's basically all that i try to like give y'all like different little tips on different things that you could do to try to make it work okay so we're gonna go out of the live so that this video is not too long on youtube we're gonna come back in we're about to do the application on my knee so i'm gonna go out and come back in all right y'all i'm gonna go out and come back in